Good evening. This is the news on Temilon's channel. I am Temilon or Detayo. First, the headlines. With ample evidence against Naramali, familiarity over Mubad's death. A quack auxiliary nurse administered highly potent injections on Mubad. On the foreign scene, US job growth exceeds expectations. Few interest rates are fears. On sports, FIFA World Cup and FF congratulates Morocco on 2030. Now, the news. The Lagos State Police Command has disclosed the existence of substantial electronic and credible witness evidence linking to the singer Aziz Fashala, widely known as Neramali and the music promoter Balogun Elitu, also known as Samlari, to the cyberbullying threats of life and assaults resulting in harm to the deceased Ilerio Luwa Oladimeji Aloba, also known as Mubad. The Lagos CP disclosed this at a press briefing on Friday at the State Command Headquarters, Ikeja, Lagos. Owonwa was given preliminary reports of an investigation conducted by the police team to unravel the circumstances that led to the death of Mubad. The Lagos Police Command has explained how one auxiliary nurse, Miss Feisayo Ogedengbe, injected Mubad multiple times, which eventually led to his death. The State Commissioner of Police, Idowu Owonwa, while addressing journalists on Friday, October 6, noted that Ogedegbe administered multiple and highly potent injections, which triggered the immediate reaction that eventually occasioned the death of Mubad. He said, Ayobami Sadiq offered to call his own nurse, Miss Feisaya Ogedegbe, to attend to Mubad a suggestion that he, Mubad, consented to. On the foreign scene, the U.S. economy added 336,000 jobs in September, far more than many economists expected. A blowout U.S. jobs report on Friday sent the dollar higher and cast a pile over stocks and bonds as the data increased fares that interest rates will stay elevated for longer and stirred concerns in the post-pandemic economy is a new era. Non-farm payrolls increased by 336,000 jobs last month. The Department of Labor said, while data for August was revised higher to show 227,000 jobs were added instead of the previously reported 187,000. On sports, the Nigerian Football Federation has congratulated the government and the people of the Kingdom of Morocco over Wednesday's decision by FIFA that the North African country will co host the 2030 FIFA World Cup finals with Spain and Portugal. Morocco first threw a hat into the ring more than three decades ago with a bid to host football's biggest showpiece in 1994 but lost to the United States of America. The country that lost a couple of other bids after that, including that for the 2010 finals which went to South Africa. And that's it in the news update on Temi Lawrence channel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I am Temilon Odetayo. Thanks for listening.